Hi, I'm Katherine Taylor, and I'm going to give you a tour of my studio here in South Boston. This is Baldy. I'm going to start out showing you a sculpture I've been working on. This is made of colored porcelain. It's a cone six colored clay body that I make here in my studio. Uh, the patterns are from uh, near, are made with a Narokomi technique. I use the Narokomi technique to make slabs and then I use the slabs to uh, cast them in plaster molds that I make here also. And that yellow clay is just solid yellow porcelain. This sculpture is part of a body of work that I've been working on for several years uh, about uh, local Texas culture, um, the idea of place being uh, the community, the, the landscape, the the history of people in that specific location over time and at present. I have some finished work over here. So I mentioned it's cone six and um, the color is all from the clay and then it's uh, glaze fired and there is some gold luster on it as well. Over here are some pots and a variety of sculpture, but I wanted, I wanted to point out to you uh, about these, these East Texas dogs. Um, those dog forms reference ceramic dogs that were made in East Texas in 1914. They were sold in, um, in pairs and often used as doorstops. I like using this dog form because it's an image that refers to my local culture while referencing imagery from the broader world. Um, so that's the English Staffordshire dog and the Chinese lion dog and the Japanese food dog. So I also make pots. I intend that the, the pots and the sculptures have relationships to each other. Um, hopefully, they suggest ideas of our bodies and our experiences living in our bodies. I have a couple of wear parts over here that have work in progress, uh, bisque fired work, um, some work is bone dry. I also have some molds on the bottom shelf that I store. I use those for my for making my sculptures and also some for slip casting. So I'm going to take you on a spin around this room. This is my workspace. It's the air conditioned space that I'm usually in. I've got a couple of work tables. Underneath them is clay sort of buckets and glazes. We got my entertainment. <laughs> I keep sculptures in here and objects that I want to see to think about while I'm working. I've got a storage space, a really big wonderful storage space for things like photo equipment and uh, packing supplies and bubble wrap, lots and lots of bubble wrap. I've got a couple of potter's wheels. So now I'm going to show you my dirty room. So this is a room where I make clay and glaze and plaster molds. My kilns are in here. I have, um, I keep some work from earlier bodies of work. It goes back to about 2002, I think. 
I really like to see this work when I'm moving around in my studio so I can connect new ideas to the old ideas. I've got a glaze lab in here where I have lots of colorants for making colored clay and glazes. Uh, Brian and I made this portable sink and um, I've got it right there by the big door so I've got a view of the chicken house. So in the corner here, I have got a um, clay mixer and my pugger, and they're on wheels, so I can roll them out when I am making clay. I usually make about a thousand pounds of clay, and it takes me about a week. And then I roll it back and clean up. We've got two kilns in here. I use one of them just for the cone six glaze fire and the other one I use for bisque and uh, luster fire. I've got a couple wear carts in here that have, um, well they have kiln shells on them, but they also have finished pots. I like to keep everything out where I can see it so that when I return to a cycle of making those shapes again, I can refer back to what was successful so that I can then hopefully continue to grow. And that's it. Thank you.